Hey guys, it's River Thames, and today I want to talk about five things I think DICE could do before they finish working on this battlefront. Even though the game's been out a year, I still really do enjoy playing it all the time and I think with the introduction of the Ultimate Edition, I think my ideas will go down really well because there's a bigger player base now. I'm not going to be talking about, oh they should add Obi-Wan or a Mos Eisley free DLC, you know, because that's a lot of work for a game design team and I think they should just focus on the smaller tweaks and logical changes I think will benefit the fan base and help the game out in general. Loadout customize in game. Alright so first up I think it will be really convenient to be able to customize your loadout while you're in a game. Sometimes I find myself using a loadout which I made specifically for one game mode and it isn't as effective or useful in another game mode you know. Um, or when you sometimes quickly get in the game and forget to change your loadout before you spawn in, meaning you have to wait until the game's over to customise it in the loading screen. I think there should be an option in the loadout tab in the respawn screen which says edit your loadout or something like that, and it will take you to this screen, you can quickly switch out your star cards and get back into the game. The only problem I can see with this is the idle warning. But I don't think customising a loadout will take too long and get you kicked from the server because most people know what they like to use and can really switch them out quickly and get back into the game if they forget. A larger heroes vs villains or hero blast. If you're new to the Battlefront community or don't follow the news so much, a game mode called hero blast was teased by the developers. It was to be a normal blast match but only using heroes, which clearly got a lot of people excited. I know. I'm for one that got really excited about this, I can't, like it will be great if it was to happen. However, as of recently the developers haven't been confirming any details on this and they've stated that they're unsure if it will be released for this game. So in my opinion, if they're unable to pursue Hero Blast, I think a larger Heroes vs Villains game mode would suit the fans perfectly. I'm not a game designer myself, I mean I'm hoping to be in the future, but Hopefully it wouldn't be too much of an issue to introduce maybe a 16 player game mode where 5 players are heroes, 3 are infantry or maybe even up to 7 heroes on each team which will just be great. I think the hype surrounding Hero Blast is due to it being the final content that we'll probably receive for this battlefront. So if DICE are unable to work in it for whatever reason then I feel a larger Heroes vs Villains alternative will go down really well with the fans. Start a private match by yourself. I think this one is pretty odd. Right now I have no idea why you can't start a private match by yourself and it kind of makes you have to go around asking people, you know, do you mind starting it with me? And, and it's just like not convenient, you know? After the release of the Ultimate Edition, a lot of players probably want to explore the maps. You know, I know I did when I heard Scarif was releasing after just seeing Rogue One. You know, I just want to explore the map and see how immersive it is. But to be able to do that I need to start a private match because online I probably did get killed over and over so so to be able to start a private match I need to go around asking people which is just like a lot more hassle than being able to start it by yourself I think it would just be a lot more easier and sounds more logical. Skirmish hero pickups If you haven't heard already DICE have already confirmed that no more content will be added into Skirmish Although, I'd like to ask if they could fix a pretty noticeable bug with the hero pickups. If you've played Skirmish and get the hero pickup, it sometimes doesn't work. It will fully activate and it's like there's nothing happens. One of the most fun things about Skirmish for me is running around using the hero whenever I feel like it and getting a lot of kills. And this glitch can be quite frustrating when it doesn't work and you need to wait for the next uplink and another hero pickup to spawn. Again, this is another minor fix, but a lot of people do enjoy Skirmish and still play it, so I think it'll be worth looking into. A DLC game mode playlist. Now that all the DLC has been released, I think it'll be great to have a DLC game mode only playlist, where you can play Extraction, Sabotage, Battle Station and Infiltration all in one rotation. Clearly, this will only be available to Season Pass holders or those who have bought all the DLC. I think this will go down really well with the fans because they're all great game modes and I think people will enjoy playing them all together and it's a good way to fill up the DLC servers. If you play on PC it can be quite hard to find a specific DLC or a game mode within a DLC because the player base isn't as big but I think this DLC game mode playlist will become very popular because personally the DLC game modes are some of my favourites to play in the game. 
If this was to happen, I'd recommend mixing up the rotation to not be in the release date order. A lot of people didn't really like the flying aspect of battle station or infiltration, so I think it would be a good idea to throw extraction or sabotage in between the two just to keep people in the playlist and not leaving when they have to play back to back flying. Well that's all the ideas I have. Again I wanted to talk about logical changes I could see happening not something like oh give us Yoda you know so uh, but let me know if you agree with any of my suggestions I hope you enjoyed leave a like and subscribe if you're new I'll see you in the next one and thank you for watching.